John from Ride Upstate, and today I want to talk about Uber buying the alcohol delivery platform Drizzly. Now, according to CNBC, this is a $1.1 billion deal that should be finalized in the first half of 2021. This is a big deal, and apparently the marketplace for Drizzly is going to be incorporated into the Uber platform, and the Drizzly app is still going to be out there. So I don't know exactly how that all is going to work. Uber recently acquired Postmates, and we're starting to see that being incorporated. And this raises a lot of very interesting points. The first one being they just paid $1.1 billion for another delivery app. When are the drivers going to get part of all this money that Uber is spending to acquire other platforms? They continue to lower rates, they continue to play around with their rate cards, and they've pretty much eliminated Surge, at least in my area anyway. It's making it very difficult for people to stick with the platform. It's frustrating for drivers. It's frustrating for riders. So how about you throw us a bone instead of us having to rely on tips as delivery drivers in order to make any kind of decent income? So the second thing to think about is this is another earning opportunity. You should have received, if you're an Uber Eats person, a separate invitation in order to deliver alcohol. Now, there are some headaches that go along with that. You have to have your ID on you when you go to pick up the alcohol, at least you're supposed to, and you're responsible for determining whether or not the person who ordered the alcohol is sober, and you have to check their ID. If they're not sober or no one can produce ID, proving that they're 21 or older, you have to take the alcohol back to the store. Now, for me personally, I don't know that I necessarily want to deal with that. That could be a really big hassle, especially if you're dealing with someone who's inebriated and they might get a little bit upset if you refuse them their alcohol. So. I don't know, if you've been out there before and you've done an alcohol delivery, I'd like to hear how it went. How have you dealt with people who weren't sober? And how's that process work? Let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. The third thing that I'm concerned with is that the driver app is becoming extremely bloated. And when an app becomes bloated, it gets difficult to use. There are more bugs in it and it makes it tougher for drivers. So that can make things pretty difficult. In my area, we have a very popular seasonal event that brings in a lot of tourism, and it brings in a lot of people from downstate who are used to using Uber Eats and maybe used to using these other alcohol delivery apps. So it'll be interesting to see this summer how that goes, if there's an, actually, an actual increase in how many deliveries I get. I haven't done a single alcohol delivery yet. And from what I've heard anecdotally, people pay more to have del alcohol delivered, especially as far as tips are concerned. So I'd like to hear from you. What do you think about this new integration? Do you think that Uber is kind of becoming this 8,000 pound gorilla? And this is an issue, right? Because they're starting to incorporate all these other platforms and if uber goes down it wipes out a very large market which then forces people onto other platforms and causes trouble on those other platforms because they can't handle the load so share your thoughts with me i'd like to hear do you deliver alcohol have you delivered alcohol and what is your experience with the app now that it's becoming more and more bloated are you seeing more problems with it? I'd like to hear from you. My name is John from Ride Up State. If this video earns your subscription, I'd appreciate it. Click that subscription button, if share it, 
like it, all those other things that show YouTube that you're interested in what I have to share. And as always, please remember, just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for a small profit.